Hi, betting experts. On Monday, the 4th of January, first of all, look back at our two bets at Plumpton on Sunday. And we move on to Fakenham on Monday. The ground soft, good to soft in places. It's a very low-grade card. It's one of those tracks where they never get big fields, generally speaking, which is surprising because the prize money is a lot better than three-quarters of the other tracks who rival it. We start off with our value angle selection in the 12.55. This is the Wells next the C, Novices Handicap Chase, 2 mile 5, a lowly class 5, 5 year olds and up with 7 runners, £4,549 on offer to the winner, which is very respectable. It's an appalling race, one of the worst novice chases you'll see for a very long time, but it does afford a golden opportunity for the very frustrating Fresh New Dawn to win over fences at the seventh attempt. Now this one did manage to win once over hurdles. Very tricky ride, can go in snatches on and off the bridle. Will not mind the ground beginning to dry out a bit at Fakenham. His one win over hurdles came on, uh, on goodish ground. And he does handle a bit of cut in the ground. Um, he's a certainty for this race if he can repeat his run at Kelso and he finished second behind Rakers Felix on the 16th of September. That solid form that's worked out pretty well. He's not been disgraced since. He's lightly raced. Gaps between his runs. He tends to have a month minimum between them. He didn't run too badly at all in first time. Cheek piece went fourth behind Kilbrew Boy under today's seven pound claimer. If you watch that run back, he was harried on quite a strong pace there and did particularly well to last as long as he did. The other front runner was falling out the back of the television so it was a run better than the bare facts over this trip this is a huge drop in class the same claim is up again which is good news because he's been given 12.5 to carry in this very bad race so luke scott taking off seven pounds would be a big help perhaps he's got monty massini down the bottom to beat but to be honest he's a 10 year old who's had 16 runs under rules and never won so it might be 17th time lucky but this, he's well out of the weight so perhaps not that easy to fancy. Maybe sabbatical if the money arrived. Evan Williams, a yard going absolutely brilliantly at the moment, Evan. Three winners from his last eight runners, but he's had about 10 winners in the last month or so. They're all flying, and Adam Wedge is riding. He's probably one of the best riders in the weighing room, certainly in the top five, and all their horses are flying. But fresh new dawn for me. This is last chance saloon. I think he'll win this, and hopefully he'll make all the running. For our nap of the day, we go to the opening 12.25. This is the Thorpe Land Maiden Hurdle, two miles, class four, Four-year-olds and upwards, 14 runners, £5,198 on offer. Most of them have absolutely nothing to recommend them. I've got it down to a match between the hurdling debutant Ripper Roo of Ollie Murphy, who's entitled to maximum respect. He ran well in a bumper 34 days ago. But the one with experience, I think he'll count for plenty here, John Betjeman. Now, Mark Gillard, not a trainer who does particularly well with a small team. He's naught from two in the last 14 days, but this one's one of the best he's got. Naught from five over hurdles so far. Ran perfectly creditably at Lingfield behind Annual Invictus in a very good race on his first run for five months on the 26th of November. And then if you watch the run back on the 15th of December at Wincanton, he was a very unlucky loser, really, uh, making the running harried a bit on the lead well clear two out looking sure to shed his maiden tag but getting picked off by paul crocan who came from a mile back the pair of them were long way clear of the rest who are all toiling this looks a great opportunity get off in front make all the running under theo gillard who's terrific value for his seven pound claim and he should be in command before they turn for home best of luck on monday betting experts